Hey guys, good morning. Yes, can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Vaibha. Yeah, full start session. Yesterday's class. Yeah. Yes, yeah, these basics were discussed yesterday. Yes, high level language to low level language, binary code for this either interpreter or compiler. So let us see about this topic today. Interpreter and compiler. Okay. See, compiler and interpreters. Compilers and interpreters are easy to convert from high level language to low level language, means binary codes. Binary codes. Okay, compilers, interpreters. Either interpreter or compiler. Either interpreter or compiler is used to convert. Convert from high level language to binary codes. Okay, interpreter and compiler. Yes, interpreter compiler. Yes, interpreter compiler. Both are doing same job, converting from high level language to binary codes. High level language, like uh, suppose some programs, like uh, suppose test dot Java. Yeah, this is Java program, just like English language. It's a high level language. Java program, high level language. Suppose Python code, for example, Python. Python. Python codes. Yes. Scriptings like in this language. Yes, yeah, these are all the programs. C language, C. Yes, all the programs. Yes, all of the programs. So all the programs. High level language. They are high level languages. Okay, Python code. Yes, next Java code. Yes, C program code. All the high level languages. This high level language has to convert into binary code. This high level language has to convert into binary code. Okay, processor understandable language. Binary code is a processor understandable language. Okay, this high level language has to come for this interpreter or compiler. See either interpreter. Yes, interpreter, yes, or compiler. C interpreter or compiler. Interpreter or compiler. Interpreter or compiler converts, converts, converts. Interpreter or compiler converts, converts from from high level language. Means that English language, high level language, high level language. Yes, high level language to binary codes, binary codes. Okay. Either interpreter or compiler converts from high level language, high level language to binary codes. Okay, so interpreter and compiler both are doing same job, high level language to binary codes. Both are doing same, but the way of it's working is different. The way of it's working is different here. Let us see very clearly. I'll explain. Let us see interpreter versus compiler. Our topic is interpreter versus compiler. One second. Yes. Yes, interpreter. Interpreter. Yes, versus compiler. The difference is very interesting. Yes, very interesting topic. This is interpreter versus compiler. So first, let us say about interpreter. How interpreter is working? Interpreter. Interpreter. For this interpreter purpose, just I'm taking some Python example. Python is a interpreter based language. Python is a interpreter based language. So for this, I'm taking Python. Okay. Yes. 
source code Python source support test dot py. Okay. Okay. Yes. Try to understand slowly. So interpreter. One second. Yes, sir. See, yeah, late night I woke up. So that's reason some voice little bit differently getting today. Late night, yes, night up to three o'clock I woke up due to office work. Some work up to three o'clock I woke up. So that's the reason some little bit voice changed. Okay. Yes. So try to understand. Slowly I'll explain very clearly. So interpreter and compiler, what's the difference? Interpreter. See interpreter. Source code test dot py. So what is source code? Source code means one second. Source code means what are the programs we are writing? That is called source code. This is called a source code. Java program source code. Yes, Python script. It's a source. This is called a source code. This is called a source code. It's a source code. Now let us take Python source code. Python. Suppose M and drop D drive M and drop Python folder. Yes, in this test.py file is available. Okay, now this is command prompts. Go to command prompts. At the command prompts, now location. D drive M and Python. So D colon D drive. Yes, D are some outputs. So D are output, right? So output in this M and Python. So this is directory. Command name called as directory. Same thing GA calling as folder. Yes, folder directory both are same. Folder directory both are same. See, GA it's a folder. See, M and drop Python is a folder. See this. M and drop Python is a folder. It's a folder. GA folder. Same thing, command line interface a directory. Folder directory both are same here. Now go to this directory. M and drop Python. Go to directory here. Change of direct CD. CD. CD M and drop hyphen that Python, right? Python. So CD change of directory changed CLS screen clear CLS screen clear cat yes M and drop Python folder. This is Python folder. In this all the files and subfolders. Okay. Yes. Not here. Yes, open it here. There's a Python file test.py. Test.py. Yes, I'm opening through the notepad. Yes, notepad. Python. Test.py, test.py. See. This is this is Python script. So actually Python, Python development using some PyCharm. PyCharm using PyCharm ID, we can develop the Python applications. Okay. See, for big data purpose, I'm using PyCharm. PyCharm Python applications we are developing from big data projects. For that reason, I have the PyCharm in my system. Okay. Yes. So this is yes notepad test.py right? so open notepad okay see for understanding purpose I'm using notepad here I'm explaining using notepad for understanding purpose okay ID may not be understanding here so yes if it is notepad then easy to understand here okay yes but actually real time development using PyCharm only PyCharm only yes now this is Python script right yeah, this is color source Python source code. This is Python source code. Python source code, right? Yes. No Python test.py source code. Test.py. The test 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 file. Okay, the source code. Python source code. Okay. Source code. Suppose first statement. Python source code. First statement like a equal to ten. Suppose first statement a equal to ten. B equal to twenty. C equal to A plus B. So addition. So A value 10, B value 20, C equal to A plus B. So adding two numbers. Addition. Next C equal to A minus B. Subtraction. C equal to A and B. Multiplication H. So all the different operations like this. Addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Okay. Yes. Now here. So different statements. So first statement that A equal 10, the statement here. So next statement. So next statement. So the scripting statements here. So next statements. So next statements. Like this top to part of some statements, right? So script the Python script, all the statements here. All the statements. Top to part of some statements, right? Yes, how interpreter working on this? Okay, how interpreter working on this? 
okay not only python scripts linux is in shell scripting is shell scripting also I, yes interpreter based let me start linux also yes yes how this script is how interpreters work let us see about interpreter so first interpreter yes working on the statements so if interpreter first of all check the first statements if first statement is correct if first statement is correct yes immediately that code simulate that code converts into binary codes that code converts into binary format zero one format if first statement is correct converts into binary codes that binary code is given to processor processor okay see next statement may be right or wrong interpreter never looking for next statement if that statement is correct immediately converts into binary code and given to processor generating output so getting output immediately generating output immediately okay next statement may be right or wrong it won't think never think about next coming statements yes if that statement is correct if that statement is correct immediately converts into binary code and given to processor then generating outputs okay yes after checking for next statement suppose next statement also correct next statement also correct here same same process converts into binary code converts into binary code and given to processor here then executing generating outputs suppose next statement something wrong here syntax something wrong next statement syntax means some rules some syntax misses something wrong simply stops that's it so any error comes in interrupt stops okay you yes, suppose next it won't check for next statements here only error once error comes simply stops this is working of interpreter so interpreter shows only one statement any error comes simply yes interpreter shows only one error so any error comes simply stops okay checking for the first statement if it is correct yes immediately converts into binary code then executes second statement checking if it is correct converts into binary code then executing next statement something wrong simply stops next statement something wrong simply stops any error comes interpreter stops immediately okay yes let me show that actually yes the script file the year cls the year the test.py file test.py okay yes already opened here not patch here is there so a equal to b equal to c equal to a plus b so next addition value is c c equal to a minus b subtraction c equal to a and b multiplication okay say yes yes save and close exit no yes python yes python interpreter it's the interpret python interpreter yes test dot test dot test dot py yes running directly executed directly executed source code executing directly here line by line executed addition subtraction matrix lines okay so addition 10 plus 20 30 10 minus 20 minus 10 yes multiplication 10 into 20 it's a 200 okay so addition subtraction multiplication like this okay yes now see this what match match yes a equal 10 statements correct what happens here it creates memory for a storing 10 creating memory for b storing 20 yes next c equal to a b performing this operation a plus b performing as and c next addition equal displaying c rate now here some mistake what happens yes some mistake yes suppose one more mistake here this bracket missing here yes next here one more mistake total there are three mistakes in diagram three errors now let us check it save and exit now yes now run this python python test dot pv see suppose if it is c program in c program what happens first will compile the c program first compiling checking errors if no errors running right that is c language in c language a compile the best c is a compile the best in compile the best what happens will compile the program first of all checking for errors checking for errors right if no errors running program but in python 
yes no checking for errors directly running program that shows code running directly here see this test dot py line 7 so this is invalid syntax right only one error message next error is not displayed interpreter shows only one error if any error comes it stops here only stop here only one error okay now let us correct this error correction of this error so let us correct this so this is comma misses line number seven so this line number seven is here line number seven right line number seven notepad showing here seven that error correction is done after correction yes save and exit yes now recompile yes sorry not recover Re run again here yes now line number 14 right so next error showing so only one error showing here. So now next error, line number 14 error. Okay, line number 40, C equal to A and T B here. Before the statement, some syntax mistake. Okay, yes. C equal to A and T. So before the syntax mistake, yes, packet missing. Save, save, save and exit. Control S for save, notepad, control S for save. Save and exit. Okay, now run it here. Yes, run it, save this. Again, next one more slide number 16 error. Now here the statement error message, right? Here error message. Here it's error. Here it's error, right? Line number 16. See, I'm using up arrow key. Yes. At the command and up arrow key means we can get the previous comments. Previous comments. Yes, instead of typing every time here, just I'm using up arrow key, I'm getting comments simply. Up arrow key. Yes, it will maintain the history. It's a dash. It's a command prompt, it's DOS command prompt. It's a command prompt. Yes, this will maintain history. Yes, history. Yes, notepad. Open notepad. Okay, line number 16. Okay, so here these are the message. 16 error message. See line number 16 error. Save. Control is save and exit right now. Yes, I'm getting previous command stop and exit. Addition. Subtract some and right. Next. So what is happening here? It's line by line working here. Not whole program, line by line. Only one line checking. If line there is correct, simply converts into binary code, then executes. Next line checks. If it is correct, then executes. So line by line. First line, next line, next line. Next line error, simply stopping. That's it. So it's working line by line. Interpreter working line by line. Interpreter working line by line. First line. Correct. Simply converts in binary code, then generating output. Second line correct. Converts in binary code, generating output. So it's a line by line working here. Any error comes, simply stops. Any error comes, simply stops. Any error comes, simply stops. Okay, fine. One second. Yes, let me have some water. Yes, so this is working of interpreter. Yes, compiler. How compiler working? Yes, let us take compiler. How compiler working? Compiler. Compiler. Source code. Support test.c program. So how compiler working? Yes, in case of compiler, checking for the first statement. C program example. Best example for this compiler is C program. C program. Checking first. So first statement is correct. Even correct, it won't convert into binary code immediately. No, it won't. Second statement correct. No, it won't. What happens here? Compiler checks all the statements from top to bottom, checking all the statements. Okay, first statement correct. Even correct, it won't convert into binary code. Next statement checking. Next statement checking. So something wrong. Yes, error at third line. Half that checking for next statement. Checking for next statements. Half that. Checking for next statements. Checking for next statements. Okay, 
So next checking for next statements. Like this top to bottom, compiler checks the whole program from top to bottom. Okay, suppose something wrong here, error at some line here. So next statements. So next statement like this. Next statement checking for next statements. Okay. So checking for next statement like this, top to bottom. Okay. Yes, next statement. Suppose something wrong here, error, right? Okay. Compiler checks the whole program from top to bottom and shows all the errors. Compiler shows all the errors. The interpreter is only one error. Interpreter is only one error. Okay. Yes, compile the example also will discuss. Compile example also. Yes. Okay. Yes. No checking from top to bottom. All the statements from top to bottom. Checking all the statements from top to bottom. Okay. After checking all the statements, it shows all the errors. All the errors. Right? Yeah. Now you have to correct the errors. C programmer as a C programmer, correcting all the errors. Correction of all the errors. After correction, yes, you have to recompile. But that should be recompiled. So recomparation. So recomparation. Next statement. Okay. So next statement. So next statement. So next statement. Okay, if everything is correct, everything is fine. No errors. If no errors, then if no errors, then compile opens another file. Compile opens another file. It opens another file. Compile opens another file. After opening another file here, it converts this whole book that complete C program, complete C program into binary codes. Yes, C program, it's a high level language. That C program, High level language converts into binary codes. Converts into binary codes like a zero ones format. Zero ones format. That high level language, C program high level language converts into binary code. Just the converts into binary code. Yes, the source code converts into binary format, write to another file. Write to another file. So write to another file. Okay. Write to another file. Yes, this file is called as exe file. This file is called as exe file. So this one exe file case, some test.exe file case. Exe file case. That exe file given to processor processor. So processor taking that exe file and generating final output. So at a time executing is not line by line. So compiler checking whole program from top to bottom. Compiler checking whole program from top to bottom. If no errors, everything is fine. Generating one exe file. That exe file submitted to processor. So processor taking that exe file and at a time giving output here. So at a time giving output here, not line by line. So at a whole program executing at a time and giving output here. So what's the difference after here? Main difference exe file. Right? This ex the second file. Yes, in case of interpreter, no second file. That second file is not generated. Yes, in compiler, that exe file generated. Exe file, this exe file executes. See, in case of Interpreter based language, what happens here? Python directly the test.py file executed. No exe file directly the Python script directly source code executed. But what happens? Yes, in compiler based, it generates one exe file. Yes, let me show practically an example here. C language, yes. C. Yes, in my system installed. Yes, C also. Yes, for the purpose of explanation. File open. One second. Yes, math dot. Yeah, this is C program. Yes, program to add, subtract, and multiply two numbers. C int A B C. There are three variables. Int A B C here. Enter first number. Reading first number. Scan F. Enter second number. Reading second number B here. Next C called A plus B. Next addition. Next subtraction. Multiplication. All this right. C. Alt C for compilation. I'm compiling C. Alt C. Compile option. Alt C for compilation. Compile option. Enter great. Compile. Success. 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 After Alt run. So to run it here, it will create one exe file. See that that exe file created here. 10, 20. Yes, addition 30, subtraction minus 10, multiplication 200. So what happens here? One exe file generates. After compilation, if no error here. So first compiling success, no errors. Now when you run this here, it will create one exe file. 
back end we end of this one exe file creates see some linking message got it right yes i'll show that practically here i'll show that also suppose for example here some mistakes there are some mistakes here because of some mistakes suppose here semicolon missing suppose here semicolon missing suppose here bracket missing suppose here this comma missing okay suppose here the semicolon missing suppose here here this bracket missing okay something missing okay here some statement something missing here suppose here bracket missing compile see that errors yes how many errors lines compiled equal this is there are six errors six errors one second compile yes all the six errors see that first error declaration syntax error next statement missing semicolon yes illegal use of pointer yes undefined symbol c like this a yes, statement missing semicolon yes expression syntax right yes all six errors top to bottom all the errors showing this showing all the errors this showing all the errors declare 16th line error see 16th line yes next 20th line this is 20th line yes 24th line 26th line like this all the errors right yes 32 line line number 32 yes 38 line number 38 all the errors from top to bottom so compiler shows all the errors from top to bottom right top to bottom compiler shows all the errors from top to bottom okay yes compile right lines compiled is equal this much of lines compiled here error six errors okay no so now correct all the errors semicolon here missing here next year semicolon missing yes next year first number here bracket missing bracket missing yes next year get this year comma missing yes now recompile errors still errors. two more errors two more errors so here semicolon missing okay next year bracket missing the bracket missing here okay yes compile still one more error here line number 38 so this is here this bracket missing compile success right not on it yes first number 10 yes second number 20 so compile is showing all the errors okay if no errors creating one exe file yes i'll show that message also main one so this is display function compiling success compiled the program compiled the program compiled okay the program compiled Yes, C program can be compiled without main also. Alt C compiled. Main is not necessary. Now run it. Now it will try to create exe file. See this linking. See that message. Now see that linking exe file math.exe right? math.cpp or C both are same. So math.exe right? now it's trying to create exe file. At the time of creating exe file, now looking for main method. Press any key. See that press any key. Press any key. One error that linker error linker error okay one error enter key see this undefined symbol main so looking for main function okay c program compiled without main function main is not necessary so just only display function compile here now run it to run it first of all it create exe file see now exe file is trying to generate math.exe file linking linking with c library and generating exe file h but here error reason Main method is not found. Main, main, undefined symbol main, undefined symbol main rich. That's the reason error message. Okay, so it's trying to create exe file. It's trying to create exe file. Is right trying to create exe file, right? Okay, so what happens here? So if this is, yes, now here. So main, main, main function, yes, compile, and run it, yes. First number 10. Yes, second number 20. So first the exe file created and executed. That's it here. The exe file created and executed. Okay, so here once the comparison is done here, after comparison, next exe file creates. First the compiling C program. If no comparison errors, generating that exe file like this. Exe file. Generating one exe file. That exe file will run. So back end C turbo C C drive. Turbo C installed here. It's bin in this math.c file, math.cpp. 
so this is math math dot c file here this is the this is our program see that this is our program right yes in the abc so this is our program okay this is our program right yes for this see math dot exe file created public is that is exe file see right click property see that properties in property this is a dot exe dot exe file created dot exe file created dot exe file created executor right okay so compiles and creating exe file so what happens here it creates exe file it creates exe file okay yes all c compile all the one it right that's it so then just to take right so this is so what happens here yes compile if it is compiled based what happens here first of all checking for all the errors top to but shows all the errors compile shows all the errors compile shows all the errors but interpreter is only one error okay yes if error generating one exe file generating one exe file that exe file given to processor so processor processor taking the exe file and running generating output that's it here that's a difference okay yes exe file see one second in linux also i'll show same thing now you can understand very clearly in linux yes see windows os turbo c id is do id with id maybe little bit confusion but in linux manual development you can understand very clearly like a windows notepad in linux also notepad concept is available using notepad you can develop okay one second yes linux this linux terminal linux terminal okay linux terminal yes ls list of files cd m and row directory okay don't think about linux ways okay our topic is about a compiler cd command change of directory pdf don't think about this command don't think about linux commands leave about linux command just try to understand about compiler ls yes remove star all the files are deleted here so m and row directory in this ls just nothing g edit is like a windows notepad in linux notepad is g edit g edit test dot c test dot c open that yes here writing c program same request addition subtraction multiplication hash includes hash includes std i would add it. okay one second you guys uh, even c language also have the uh, that code in my fingertips of the series c language programming also because i have the multiple experience yes i worked on embedded c also at the beginning later switched to java c language java python all this every code on fingertips only i can develop every code easily here so wide me next linux and all this multiple experience okay so main yes next here yes into suppose int a equal to 10 yes next so next int b int b is equal to 20 yes next yes int c int c declared here so directly here yes instead of scan up directly i'm taking int a equal to b equal to 20 here int c okay now c equal to a plus b okay no print of print of yes addition addition equal to personal d slash n slash n comma c so displaying the tradition value addition next subtraction next multiplication c equal to a plus b c equal to a minus b yes subtraction 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 yes c equal to a into b multiplication yes multiplication multiplication yes so here a equal to b equal to c c equal to a plus b addition addition okay yes next step. c equal to a minus b c equal to a minus b c equal to a minus b next c equal to a into b yes next multiplication equal to this is okay fine 
same control as same same like a windows here of same control as yes, notepad yes ls test dot c program right test dot c program now comparison gcc c language compiler gcc test dot c i am comparing yes no error no error compile only comparison partition compiled no error some test dot o file created this one has to convert into exe format convert to exe gcc hyphen o the result exe name may be project test dot o Yes, that. Yes, this result name can be anyone. Project or some expression, whatever you want. Enter key. Yes, let's see that. The green color is exe file. Project exe file generated. No running. This is dot slash project. Okay. Yes, addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So what's happened here? One exe file generated. Yes, what is project here? See, file project type of the project is what. Yes, Linux is a file command to check the type of the file. Linux file command to check the type of the file is executable file. The project is a project is a exe file, executable file. Okay, 60x8664 C8086 processor. That exe file prepared for 8086 processor yesterday. Yes, I explained about 8086 right? yesterday. Some topic 80 now we are using 8086 processor again. Yes, processor based computer, 8086 based exe file, Linux base. Okay, exe file, right? Exe file created. That's exe file. Okay, yes. No run it dot slash project. Dot slash, yes, to run it dot slash project. Project exe file. So addition, subtraction, and addition. Okay, fine. Clear, clear this thing. LS. Yes. No, remove. Please start project exe file. Remote here. Remove. Card dot o yes remote can ls test dot c g edit test dot c yes sorry ls so g edit test dot c file test dot c file here open this suppose some mistakes here semicolon missing suppose here some plus missing okay suppose here some comma missing here suppose here some bracket missing okay save control yes save it no ls test dot c file it no comparison gcc hyphen c test dot c test dot c see this all the errors from top to bottom compiler shows all the errors from top to bottom see that 10th line error 12th line error next 18th line error 22nd line error all the errors yes compiler checks the whole program from top to bottom compiler checks whole program from top to bottom okay yes shows all the errors Okay, no correction of all the errors. So you get semicolon missing. So you get some press missing. Okay, right. Next here. Yes, next to here, comma missing. Here, comma missing. Okay. Yes, here bracket missing. Right. Save. Save it here. Yes, save it. Ls now compare GCC hyphen C just dot C. Just compare no error. So test dot o file generated. Now this should be converted to exe format. GCC hyphen work. Yes, ex name. Suppose MN drive is the ex name. Test dot o, right? Yes. One exe file got it. MN drive. Dot slash MN drive. That's it. Addition, subtraction, executed. So this is compiled working. Way of working is like this. Okay. Compiler checks whole program from top to bottom. If an error generating one exe file, that the exe file executes. So this is difference between interpreter and compiler. Interpreter and compiler. Okay. Yes, let us see the differences step by step. Okay. Yes, why explaining about this interpreter compiler differences here? It's very useful for Java. To understand Java features, it's very useful. Yes, interpreter. See interpreter. It's interpreter and compiler. Interpreter and compiler. Interpreter and compare the differences. Okay. Interpreter and compare the differences. Yes, let us see points wise. One by one, let us compare this, then easy to understand. So, interpreter. So, first one, interpreter. Yes, checks the quote, checks the quote line by line, right? First line checking. Yes, line by line. First line checking. 
fund execution check and then second convert then execution let okay but compilation whole program checks checking top to bottom whole program yes it checks it checks it checks it checks whole program whole program whole program from top to bottom from top to bottom top to bottom right yes that should practically top to bottom checking all the lines but interpret is only one line checking at a time so only one line checking if line is correct execution generating output okay yes next output generation yes it generates it generates it generates output line by line output also line by line output also line by line line by line output but compiler yes whole output at a time yes whole output at a time at a time that exe file executing and giving output at a time right at a time executing okay yes even you can see that exe file also cls mn ras exe file g edit mn ra open that exe file exe file opening that contains all the binary codes yes let it little bit time see that mn that exe file and zeros ones for binary code it's a binary code it's a system understandable language this is exe format okay system understandable language yes we can't understand system only can understand this that is not our code so we can't understand it okay yes fine so here so compiler whole output at a time so this is generates output line by line this generates output at a time okay right? next here interpreter it shows it shows only one error only one error it shows only one error it shows only one error it shows only one error right? compiler it shows all the errors all the errors from top to bottom so all the errors right all the errors it shows all the errors from top to bottom from top to bottom it shows all the errors from top to bottom okay next main difference exe file exe file yes it does not it does not it does not generate it does not generate it does not generate exe file exe file yes it generates it generates exe file so this is main difference so what is main difference between interpreter and compiler exe file is a main difference what is main difference exe file is main difference compiler generates exe file interpreter does not generate exe file no exe file concept for interpreter based language see python case directly source code executes interpreter based okay yes it executes interpreter it executes source code directly source code directly source code directly it executes source code directly right? it executes source code directly see python scripting see the source code executing directly source code executing directly python scripting source code execute directly okay it executes source code directly okay executing source code directly okay yes even one more example okay cd remember ls suppose g edit g edit suppose map dot as a shell script linux shell script yes a equal to 10 Yes, B equal to twenty. It's a script. A scripting. It's this all interpreter based. Linux shell script all interpreter based. A equal to B equal to twenty. Okay, echo. Yes, addition. Yes. So addition value equal to yes. Expr. Yes, dollar e, dollar e, plus dollar b. Yes, this is writing shell scripting. Yes, shell scripting is a common for me. Okay. in our day your door my almost to yes every time using shell scripting in our daily work because uh, in how do we need shell scripting yes addition subtraction subtraction equal to here expr dollar e plus dollar b okay next echo multiplication point quotation missing yes multiplication multiplication equal to here dollar a yes into dollar b dollar b 
addition. So addition, subtraction, multiplication, same. See, there here also no comparison process. Directly executing bash is a shell. Like a Python inter bash is an interpreter for shell. Running, see this. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, right? No. Some mistake. See, A equal to B equal to. Suppose addition here, some mistake. What happens here? One second. This is not this one. Let us do mistake here. What happens? What happens? Interpreter. First statement executing, second statement executing, third statement executing here. Fourth one error simply stopping there. Yes, this statement checking and executing. So giving output also, getting output also, getting output also. So up to this, you can see output here. So once error comes, simply stopping. Once error comes, simply stopping it. Right? No. Let us run this. Yes, dash. See this. A equal to 10, B equal to 20, that executed. A value is 10, B value is 20, now addition equal 30, right? Next statement, error, stop put simply. That error simply stop put. That error, 10th line error simply stop put simply, that's it here. So any error comes to be stops. Okay, so A equal to 10, this executed. So memory allocate for A, store 10. Memory allocate for B, store 10 to 20. Addition equal to, that output has to be addition equal to, see that, addition equal to, Addition equal to up to 30. This is displayed, right? Up to this displayed here. Now this statement mistake here, stop it here. So mistake is here. That quote is missing. Okay. So once any mistake comes, any error comes, simply stop there. Okay. So converting then executing, converting executing here. Any error comes, simply stops. So this is interpreter. So interpreter. Yes, it executes source code directly. Here also directly executing the source codes. Okay. Dot sh file executing shell script executing directly here. Source code. Yep, this is called a source code. Our program is source code. This is source code. This is, this is called a source code. So source code executes directly. Okay. It executes source code directly here. So what is compiling here? It executes exe file. It executes, it executes exe file. It's creating one exe file. So it executes exe file. Okay. So interpreter, interpreter executes source code directly. No exe file concept. Compile the best exe file generates and executes. Okay, right? See, interpreter based language, that is scripting language. They are scripting language. They are scripting language. They are scripting language. They are scripting language. Yes, scripting. So these are called as scripting languages. These are programming languages. Yes, programming, programming languages. Programming languages. Programming languages. Okay. See, interpreter based language called as scripting languages. Compiler based called as programming languages. Scripting language means that script can be modified any time. If you're able to modify any time, that is called a script. Script can be modified any time here. Programming is we can't do. So once build is created, you cannot modify. Programming, if it is programming language, suppose C application build is done, you cannot modify. So programming language cannot be modified here. Okay. Yes, if you want to modify programming language, this is a big process, lengthy process. But interpreter based language. Script anytime can be only one step. Open the script and modify, run it. That's it here. Open scripts, modify, run it. Only one step. But lengthy process. In compiler based, if you want to yes, change the code, they say lengthy process. There are so many steps. Okay. Scripting means that can be modified anytime. Scripting can be edited anytime. Editing. Editing anytime. Okay. So all scripting languages come to an interpreter based language. Okay. They're called as programming language. See, interpreter based language examples. Examples. So, best example is Python. 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 Python scripting. Linux shell scripting. Just now discussed about Linux shell scripting. Next, HTML. HTML. Okay. So next, Perl scripting. Okay. Next, JavaScript. JavaScript is not a Java. JavaScript is different. Java is different. JavaScript is a browser understandable language. JavaScript is a browser understandable language using at the client side. Java is a JVM understandable language using at server side. JavaScript, JavaScript, JavaScript is a browser understandable language. See here, form. So behind of this form, this is a JavaScript. So for the JavaScript here, JavaScript working here. For the Java, behind of this form, JavaScript. So this is front end, JavaScript. So it's a browser understandable language. The JavaScript is a browser understandable language. 
once is submitted here, this data goes to server side. At server side, Java program taking this data inside the database. At the server side, Java program. So JavaScript and Java difference is JavaScript is a it, yes, JavaScript is a browser understandable language. Java is a JVM understandable language. That's it here. So these are interface. Next one more PHP. PHP also interpreter based language. These are interpreter based language. Okay, programming language. Examples. Examples. Yes, C is the best example. C language. Next C plus plus. C plus plus. Next dot net. Dot net C hash. Okay, these are programming languages. Okay, next here. Interpreter based language. Don't have the exe file. So interpreter based language. See interpreter. So interpreter based language. Interpreter. Yes. Interpreter. Interpreter based language. Interpreter. See interpreter based language. Based language. Don't have exe file. Interpreter based language. Yes. Interpreter based language. Yes. Interpreter based language. Don't have exe file. Don't have exe file. Don't have exe file. Here everything is exe file. So finally getting one exe file. Yes, everything is exe file. So here finally getting one exe file then and execute let's okay. Interpreter based language don't have exe file. See Python scripting directly executing let no exe file. No exe file. Suppose shell scripting. Yes, the shell scripting directly executing. No exe file. Direct executing shell script. Suppose let us take HTML. Yes, HTML. Yes, once in advanced Java, in advanced Java material, HTML material. Yes, some HTML example. Login program. This is login program. Login program. See. See this. This is HTML code. Source code. This is a source code. The login, login, login page. Login page. Okay, login form. Yes. Now double click opening. Directly opening. Yes, it's opening the browser. Opening in the browser. It's a browser understandable language. Browser is the interpreter for the HTML. Browser is an interpreter for the HTML. It's a browser understandable language. The, the script executed directly. Script execute direct. No comparison process. Nothing. Directly executed. Directly executed. No exe file. Directly that script executed. Directly HTML file executed. Okay. See. Right click. Yes. Properties. Check the properties. Dot HTML is extension. Dot HTML. The HTML file executed directly. Okay, yes, source code executing directly here. No exe file concepts. So interpreter based language don't have exe file. Yes, if it is a compiler based, everything is exe file. So this is difference between these two. See, interpreter checks the code line by line, compile the whole program at a time. Okay, right. next interpreter, it generates output line by line. Yes, compile at a time here. Yes, interpreter only one error, compile all the errors. Main difference is that exe file is a main difference. Exe file is maintenance. Okay, fine. Yes, we are talking about Python, shell scripting, C language, C++, very Java. Our topic is Java, right? But I am not talking about Java. Java is a different case. Java is a different case. There is a reason not talking about Java. Now let us start Java. Yes, Java. Java based on what? Is it interpreter based language or compiler based language? Yes, guys. Anyone can you answer this? Java, is it interpreter based or compiler based? What is your idea? Any idea? Of course, I'll explain. Just I'm asking your idea. What's your idea? What is Java? Is it interpreter based or compiler based? Gauri Shankar. Okay, good. Yes, why about good interpreter? Gauri Shankar saying it compiler. Please respond. Generally, my classes are interactive classes, like a friendly classes. What is Java? Yes, uh, Mumadi, Jagdish Mumadi. Yeah? One second. Jagdish Mumadi, yes, both. Okay. Vijay Sagar, yes, both compiler interpreter. Yes, any others? Okay. Let me explain about Java. What is Java here? See, except Java, except Java. Okay. Yes, in other languages, in other languages, what happens here? In other languages, what happens here? First, your source codes. Source codes converts into binary codes. Source code converts into binary codes. The binary code is given to processor. Just now, yes, we discussed practically. 
సో జనరీ జన్ జనరేటింగ్ అవుట్పుట్ రైట్ ఓకే సోర్స్ కోడ్ కన్వర్టింగ్ టు బైండి కోడ్స్ దట్ బైండి కోడ్ సబ్మిటెడ్ ప్రాసెస్ జనరేటింగ్ అవుట్పుట్ రైట్స్ ఓకే సోర్స్ కోడ్ టు బైండి కోడ్ కన్వర్షన్ మేబీ ఐదర్ కంపైలర్ ఆర్ ఇంటర్ప్రెటర్ if it is compiler based programs then compiler converts if it is interpreter based language interpreter converts either compiler or interpreter but come to java yes in java what happens in java what happens in java in java first source code source code in java first source code converts into byte code in java byte code what is introduced a byte code okay source code converts into byte code so first initially source code converts into byte code that byte code converts into binary code so one more yes some intermediate code was introduced here java yes intermediate code byte codes yes binary codes yes given to processor processor yes that is generating output text right? that's it so what is happening here some intermediate code some extra code introduced here byte code introduced here so why byte code introduced here to make the java is independent so why byte code introduced in java here to make the java is independent of platform just will be discussing the same topic will be discussing now okay source code converts into byte code byte code to binary code okay so here in other language only one step source to binary code only one step conversion but here two steps first step source code converts into byte code second step byte code to binary code after converting into binary code given to processor generating output okay source code to byte code who will convert this source code to byte code source code to byte code this is by the compiler a java compiler converts java compiler converts source code to byte code let us see java example also yes d try okay cd backslash here ls here suppose some test folder cd test folder change to ls so dr yes this is a test yes one second l start dot class dtch cls dr yes yes note patch note patch yes note patch test dot java okay see one second developing java application we have the eclipse yes every day in our daily class i'll be using eclipse how to set up eclipse next we'll discuss so for understanding purpose now currently i'm using notepad using notepad so from the notepad open the java program file here it's open okay yes one second this is java program hello world hello world control s save it and exit okay now what is happening is cls clear screen see test.java file created now java c means java compiles java compiler test dot java now it's compiling h compiled no error now clear test it dot plus this is tested dot class for kind of byte codes now compiler converted from dot java to dot class dot java is a source code dot class is byte code source code to byte code source code to byte code by the compiler okay right? now this byte codes byte codes this java test entry now this is interpreter program executing by the interpreter now this case here interpreter execute the interpreter taking test dot class file dot class extension not ness directly can run it no extension so java test now it take the dot class file so you see this is interpreter now interpreter interpreter taking dot class in dot class byte code is there that byte code line by line converts into binary code and executes so execution by the interpreter so program compilation by the compile compiler here yes so compiler so compiler converts source code to byte code this part by the compiler okay right. next byte code to binary code this part this part by the interpreter okay this part by the interpreter this part by the interpreter interpreter right interpreter this is okay yes so what happens in java errors 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 checking 
error checking by the compiler error checking by the compiler error checking by the compiler okay error checking by the compiler see notepad test the driver suppose some mistake here suppose okay semicolon missing save see this no java c comparison java c java c rich yes error missing see this here semicolon missing rich right? error semicolon expected semicolon missing it's the error it's the error from the compiler error from the com so compile shows all the errors so error from the compiler so compiler checking for errors so in java errors checking by the compiler java errors checking by the compiler. java c means java compiler java c is a c means compiler it's a compiler so generated dot class file okay now executing by the interpreter java test execute rich okay so errors checking by the compiler yes in java errors checking by the compiler okay if no errors if no yes compiler errors checking by the compiler yes if no errors if no errors if no errors then then it generates 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 bytecode it generates bytecode bytecode rich okay yes program yes next java program program execution yes execution by the interpreter execution by the interpreter execution by the interpreter program execution by the interpreter interpreter rich okay so what happens here first source code test dot java rich test dot java it's a source code rich test dot java it's a source code it's a source code rich it's a source code source code the source code given to java compiler java c java compiler taking yes test dot java given to java c compiler so java c compiler taking care generating one test dot plus test dot plus right test dot plus will generate it so it's a byte code this is byte code it's a byte code byte code right this byte code yes yes given to interpret java means java interpreter this is interpreter it's interpreter right it's interpreter Okay, interpreter. Right? So test dot Java source code given to Java compiler. Okay, Java compiler generating one dot plus the byte code. That byte code given to Java interpreter. Now interpreter converts that byte code line by line. Now it's line by line conversion here. So converts into binary code. Converts into binary code. Binary code line by line. Line by line. Okay, line by line. Line by line. Okay, hard given to processor. Just given to processor. Processor. So finally, generating output. That's it. Okay. So errors checking by the compiler, runtime by the interpreter. So errors checking by the coming Java, Java errors, errors checking by the compiler. Okay. If no error, generating byte code file. Okay. Program execution interpreter. So runtime by the interpreter. Errors checking by the compiler, runtime by the interpreter. Runtime by the interpreter. So errors by the compiler. Okay. All the errors. So errors. Errors checking. Yes, errors. Errors by the compiler. Errors checking by the compiler. Errors checking by the compiler. Compiler, right? Yes, runtime. Yes, runtime. Runtime by the interpreter. Runtime by the interpreter. By the interpreter. That's it. Now Java depends on what? Java depends on what? Both. Java depends on both. So it depends on both here. Depends. It depends on both. It depends on both. It depends on both. Okay. Now here, some question for you guys. Some question. Some question. See any language, any language, any language. Some question. Try to understand it. Hello guys. Try to understand. Please focus on this. Try to understand this point here. Any language, runtime, runtime. Is an interpreter based. Is an interpreter based. Okay. Is an interpreter based. Remember this point. Very very important point. Any language runtime is an interpreter based. Any language, any language runtime is interpreter based. Interpreter based. Yes. No exe file content. Right. No exe file content. That is explained very clearly. In HTML, no exe file. Python, no exe file. Shell script, no exe rich. Yes, any language runtime, 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 not error seeking, runtime. 
any language runtime yes any program is executing by the interpreter any language runtime is an interpreter with no xcpl concepts no question is question is yes can we create xcpl in java that is a question interview question okay this is a question yeah. of course in interviewer he will not explain this one he will ask this question can we create xcpl in java see as per the statement now tell me the statement as per the statement any language yes any language runtime is an interpreter based java runtime is what is it interpreter based or compiler based? java runtime is what what is java runtime interpreter compiler java runtime see error is checking by the compiler runtime by the interpreter see errors by the compiler runtime by the interpreter java runtime is interpreter based so can we create exe file in java yes runtime is interpreter based runtime is inter runtime is interpreter try to understand the topic very simply i am explaining here runtime is interpreter based runtime is java runtime is interpreter based see any language runtime is interpreter based no exe file concept no exe file concept any language runtime is interpreter based java is a runtime interpreter based so can we create exe file in java here okay see see here any language of okay, any language in case of any now java java language runtime is interpreter based the no exe file concept no exe file okay yes sans is no we can't get x no exe file concept in java no exe file concept in java see this in this process yes have we seen anywhere exe file in this first it compiled java c test dot java yes compiled it compiled after the execution yes java get test right c after compilation what was happened here after compilation what was happened test dot plus was generated yes anywhere created dot exe file have we seen exe file here yes did you observe that exe file here yes guys have we seen any exe file here in this process yes java program compiled and executed in this process have we seen anywhere exe file no no exe file so can we create exe file in java no this is interview question compulsory okay yes no exe file concept in java 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 okay here everything is dot plus for everything so everything is a dot plus for everything everything is a everything is a dot plus for everything is a dot plus file everything is dot plus file everything is dot plus file this is java java depends on both interpreter as well as compiler java depends on both compiler as well as interpreter error checking by the compiler but runtime by the interpreter yes, since runtime is interpreter based since runtime is interpreter with no exe file concept in java don't have exe file concept in java don't have exe file concept in java yes what is exactly exe file the topic are so discuss okay yes independent of platform exe file is a platform dependent but dot class file is independent why dot class file concept in java to make the java is independent of platform suppose if it is exe file that is why is dependent platform dependent exe file is platform dependent but dot class file is a independent of platform to make the java is independent of platform the dot class file byte code concept in this here the topic tomorrow i'll finish tomorrow i'll explain here so that features independent of platform yes all the prerequisites finished here to understand that independent of platform that features yes java features see interpreter compare the differences yes every point prepared here okay today topic all the points interpreter compare differences next about java all the points what we discussed about java very clearly point to point prepared okay see now even single point has not missing same as my explanation here java depends on both like this here java errors checking yes no error generating dot plus see runtime by the interpreter same source code byte code like the same source code to byte code byte code to byte code like same right same nothing single point has not missing here everything prepared very clearly in documents you guys don't worry about notes okay see 
my order of explanation and document are the same never mismatching same see most of the trainers the order of explanation is different document is different never matching because the the trainers they will copy all the notes from the yes net from google different location they will copy it and they will prepare the document but my way is not like that so it's purely my experience okay even sentence formation also is my own sentence formation not copied from anywhere this is yes, even english also i have the perfect knowledge yes following act wise and past wise okay present tense future tense all the english also i have very good knowledge okay i have the very good knowledge in document preparation also well prepared i will prepare documents well because as a architect my role i have prepare well well docu documents every document i have to prepare in my projects okay i have the good knowledge of english grammar also well experience in english grammar also so completely my own this is my own script this is own this is not copied from anywhere so this is okay so this independent of platform yeah this is tomorrow topic tomorrow tomorrow finishing all these features see to understand these features yesterday some today's prerequisites is yesterday topic today topic is prerequisite to understand java features see direct like in explain java features that is not an issue it's just explaining definition and going to actual java topic that is not my way okay i will clear every concept each and every concept i'll clear i'll explain very clear we'll see tomorrow so why last two days class is taken yesterday class today class how much utilized for tomorrow class yesterday today class how much utilizing for tomorrow class you will see you will see that yes so last two classes reason for explain last two classes tomorrow you can see okay directly explaining features of job may not be understanding okay suppose simply definition means you can understand but that is not my way i'll explain very clearly don't worry okay yes tomorrow will continue for the features so features this topic will continue tomorrow okay yeah that's all guys yes any doubts yes sir yes sir yeah about recordings and documents i'll share now yes immediately within one hour i'll share it okay within one hour i'll share it definitely today i'll share it okay yes yes any doubts yes any doubts guys Yes, no doubt, sir. Yeah. So thank you, guys. Yes, we'll continue tomorrow. Same time, exactly nine thirty. Thank you. Same link, no change in link. Thank you.